Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a super simple text pop-up in your Squarespace website that looks like this. Now I do want to mention, if you want to have a form that shows up as a pop-up, or if you want to use something super advanced like add images or audio files or anything other than just a simple line of text, you're going to need to use something else. This tutorial is just a simple pop-up like this example here. I have some related content in the links below if you'd like something a little more advanced. But if you're happy with this one, let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and I'll show you exactly how this works. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention I'm using version 7.1, but this tutorial works for any version of Squarespace, even on older sites built on version 7. It also works for any subscription plan, so if you have a personal plan, this tutorial will still work for your website. So this right here is the very first thing that we're going to do. We're going to add this as a line of code to this page. This places the visible text on the page and the pop-up text. Then after that, we're going to add some custom CSS to change the style of that pop-up and make that animation happen. So this text only shows up when we hover over the visible text. Now I'm going to hop into edit mode. I'm going to copy this right here. Just going to copy all of that text and I'll say, let's add a code block. If you're using an older version of Squarespace, however, you add a block of content, just follow those steps. But once you have the code block, paste the code right here and we'll see we have visible text and pop-up text. Now that's kind of small, so I'm actually going to expand this to show you what I'm gonna add here. I will add a new line at the very beginning, and I'm actually gonna say H3. And then I'll take this right here, and I'm gonna add this to the end of my code in a new line. I want it to be bigger, and adding that H3 means it'll match the heading three style on my site. So whatever I have set for the heading three, which is a larger font, that's going to apply to the visible text and the pop-up. Totally up to you. If you want to leave it at paragraph text, you don't need that. If you want it heading one, change H3 to a one. You get the idea. All right, we'll go ahead and click out of here. And now we're going to see, again, visible and pop-up text next to each other. Let's go ahead and make this block a little bit bigger so we can see that. There we go. So in order to hide this pop-up text until we hover over the visible text, we'll need to add this custom code. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this code right here, which is in the description below. And we're going to select Save. And then we'll navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we're going to paste the code. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and zoom in on this so I can walk you through it line by line. Now scrolling down here, you'll notice our pop-up text went away until we hover over that visible text. Pretty cool, right? So the first thing this does is hide that actual pop-up. If I remove this line, we're going to see it no matter what. So make sure you leave that there. Now, after that, I've added a little note that says style the pop-up because what we're doing here is giving it a little bit of padding. We're giving it a background color. We're giving it a border. I gave it a shadow. I curved in the corners there and I made it slightly opaque. Now, all of these are super customizable and not necessary. You can remove them all if you want to. I'd recommend at least changing up the background color, maybe giving it a different border, removing the shadow. The border radius is just my own style with those curved edges, but you don't need it. And I set the opacity at 0.9 because it'll be slightly over my visible text. Now, after that, we went ahead and added the placement of the pop-up right here. I said display inline block, position relative, and then I adjusted where it actually shows up. I gave it a little bit of room at the top and I scooted it just a little bit to the left so it'd be closer to the text itself. Again, super customizable. You can use any length values you want here. I used REM and percentage. You can use PX or VW, whatever you're comfortable with. Change those until it looks perfect for your own website. Now, last but not least, we have this part right here that says text hover, pop-up, visibility, visible. Guess what that does? It makes it visible. <laughs> so when you hover over it, you'll see the pop-up text. Leave this part of the code. You don't want to remove that. That part's pretty important. So again, feel free to customize the style with these right here and feel free to adjust these if you want to change the placement of it. I'll go ahead and select save because I'd like to show you one more thing. Let's say you want to have this effect a few different times, totally possible. We'll go ahead and select edit. And all I'm going to do is duplicate this block here in Squarespace. Let's move it down to a new space and let's go ahead and change it. For this one, we can say question. And after that, we can say answer. And now I'll go ahead and select save so we can see this magic happen. Now, when I hover over visible text, we'll see that pop up. And when I hover over question, we'll see the answer. Notice that it's going to happen no matter how many times you use it. 
That's because we created two new elements, the text element and the pop-up element. You can repeat it as often as you want, just changing up the content to whatever else you'd like to see. And there you have it. Now the code for the CSS is included in the description below, and I've also added a link so you can hop over to my blog and grab the code for the actual elements themselves. Those use angled brackets that I can't paste in a YouTube description. Now, if you're already on my blog, just check beneath the video and you'll find both codes good to go. And one last thing, if this is your very first time using custom CSS for Squarespace, I would love to teach you more. I have a free class on the basics available at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.